Hey guys, it's Lady Locks, and I've got this really cool uh, Euro lock that was sent to me by a friend. Um, I'm going to have a couple other Euros, hopefully, to feature on my channel that um, that were sent to me, and uh, I've got them picked. They're really cool. I want to share them with you guys. Um, this is one of the, this is a chub. This is a pretty cool lock. Here's the bidding of the key for this one. Now, I've picked it. It's a bit rough to pick. Um, not hard or anything, just a little tricky. And I'd like to see what's in it because I really am unsure at this point. I've tried to figure it out. Uh, picking it slowly, I've tried to figure out what's in it and I just don't know. I'm taking guesses and I just have no clue what, to, what I'm feeling in here. And I need the monkey paw to pick it. I've tried it with all kind of different picks. None of them seem to, or I'm sorry, not the monkey paw, but it is a sparrow's hook. Uh, the long sparrow's hook is what I've used. I, I've tried to pick it with the monkey paw, but I couldn't get it picked. I'm assuming it's because of the, um, if you look at the bidding of the key, it's got a little bit of a high lift in the middle there. I'm assuming that's the reason it, I wouldn't pick with such a shallow hook, so. But, like I said, it's pretty cool. Some of the feedback's really cool. I'm thinking spools, but I could be wrong. Because it, sometimes at the end of this, I really have got to um, give everything a final push. So I'm thinking, well, maybe a tapered somewhere, maybe a tapered everywhere maybe something I don't know just don't know guys I don't know. so that is going to be the fun part of getting it it's finding out what's inside of it and um, there's some kind of weird clamp on the back so of course that's going to be so much fun uh, trying to get the clamp off that could be a video in itself is me trying to get the clamp off for 20 minutes but we'll see. I haven't gutted it yet, so I've got no clue how I'm going to do. Don't know how the clamp comes off. Don't know how to get into it. So it's going to be an adventure. So yeah, I'm getting a lot of back and forth here. Um, hmm. Feeling around for counter rotation. This is what makes me think they're spools because I'm getting some counter rotation on these pins. But I'm not feeling uh, any in the front. Something's, this one's hanging low. It feels like it might have fallen. Maybe it doesn't need picked. I don't recall picking that one. That's, yeah, that's number two. I'm not sure. All right, keep going. Get a tiny click out of that. I think that was five. Oh. Um, yeah, five and five gave me a little click. Uh, six gave me some rotation there. Hmm. That's confusing. <laughs> All right, got a little more movement there. click though. Nice click and some uh, rotation there. Okay, Alright, just checking everything. Got something here maybe. Okay. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Sliding off that pin over and over. But I don't know what the heck's going on with this one. Um, okay. That might have... That might have overset something. Nope, maybe not. Let's see. 
Oh, there it went. That was kind of weird. Yeah, see, um, I don't know if those last pins, if one of them is tapered or if it just drops because there's a couple times I've had to go ahead and, and bump it to get that open, and that time was no different. I just kind of bumped it and it, it opened. So I'm not really sure. This is what we're going to hopefully find out. Oh, I can't be sure about that either because I really don't know. Um, I really don't know how I'm going to figure this one out so first of all let me unlock that got a couple screws here I'm gonna take out with my tiny screwdriver to get that little kind of guard or whatever that is off Longer handle would come in handy here. <laughs> All right. Whoa, shut. Bunch of pins out. Wow. I have never seen anything like this. Hopefully that was just springs and not pins. Do you see this, guys? Crazy. <laughs> Let me see here. I heard one go this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and hope that I didn't lose the key, uh, the the uh, pins along with it. So let's see. Well, that just made this whole process a little bit easier, didn't it? All I gotta do is rip it out of here. That is super weird. <laughs> All right, found one spring. Don't know if uh, the pins in here. Okay. That looks like a standard pin, and the other spring is MIA, but I have other springs, so I can always replace it. That's a nice spool. Um, yeah, let me see. I'm not really sure how to get this out of here. Um, this is so weird. What about in here? Got all kind of stuff falling out of this one. Hmm. Well, we're going to do it this way. I'm just going to put my hand over top of it and take out everything very slowly. Got all kind of stuff falling out of here. I don't know what that is. Thankfully, um, I can replace the springs. So... Another spool. Oh. Okay. So I got a couple standards and um, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back to get to the key pins now. And hopefully I get those out too. Hmm. They should be lined up. Hmm. There it is. Whoop. Last one over here. I'm actually going to clean this one up, and I think it will pick a lot nicer once it's clean also. It's pretty dirty. And I might get lucky and find that spring, but I don't know for sure.
I was just expecting a cap on this. Um, but I guess not. And I'm not really sure how this clamp works. I'd like to get this tailpiece off of here. There's some kind of clamp on here, although I don't know how to get it out of here. I'm assuming you pinch these, um, these right here, and it should slide upwards, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't have to do that in order to um, gut it, thankfully, but I'd like to know how to get them off. So let's try and see, and then I'll pull a close up of the pins real quick, but we might as well fight with this, this little clamp here in the meantime. Who doesn't like a good showing of Lady Locks versus the clamp, huh? Here's the pens for this. I have, it looks like a hourglass spools here. A couple of them, maybe all of them. Except this one looks like a regular spool. Bit of a, maybe that one's a regular one too. Maybe I'm just seeing things, guys, that aren't there. I don't know. Maybe the dirt marks on there making me think it looks like an hourglass from this angle, but um, pretty much a few spools and a couple standards. So for um, how it picked, I figured there were some spools, but it really is um, a fun little lock to pick. Uh, once I clean everything up, I'll see if it picks any differently. But um, very strange. I didn't realize it was gonna. everything was going to just come flying out. I thought there would be a cap on this um, because that's what usually is on there um, but I don't know if that's standard for the these type of cylinders you know I I've never had one never picked one never even seen one till I got it from the friend of mine but here's the clamp on this I want to try to get this to zoom in because if anybody knows how in the heck to get this thing off oh let me know um, so yeah these two little pieces come down here it looks like they might squeeze together but there's no room to squeeze it because this is in the way I don't know how to get that off. And there's the top piece of the clamp there for you guys to see. So there's like the top and here's pretty much the bottom. I'm not really sure how to get that off. And there was the keyway on this one. It's a very open keyway. Very easy to get to the pins. Fairly easy to pick. Uh, gave me a little trouble, but that could be because it was a little bit dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and clean it up and see if it picks any differently. I'm going to replace that spring or find it. It could be somewhere on my desk that I haven't uh, seen yet. And it sounded like it went um, that away somewhere. <laughs> so I'll check. But all right, guys. Um, Yeah, this is a chub. Euro cylinder. I mean, it, um, it's a cylinder it's from the uh, UK. So, Euro cylinder, only shaped like like our cylinders, uh, and not shaped like the other Euro cylinders. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm gonna leave in all the parts about everything going flying because I know you guys enjoy to see that. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you like this one, click the like button. If you like my channel, please subscribe and uh, click the bell to be notified of any new videos that I put out. Oh. Take it easy.